This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Widely regarded as one of the most photographed bridges in the world, the Golden Gate Bridge is a marvel of engineering and an American icon. Located in California, the bridge connects a city of San Francisco to Marin County. Before the Golden Gate Bridge was built, San Francisco was the economic center of the region, and still is today, and many of its workers lived in Marin County across the strait. Taking a ferry ride took about half an hour, but the boats could only carry a limited number of people, which slowed down the commute. As a result, a bridge was needed to connect the two counties, but building a bridge was not going to be easy. The Golden Gate Strait, from where the bridge gets its name, is around 1.8 kilometers wide and 150 meters deep. Early engineers estimated the cost of a bridge at $100 million, or $2.7 billion in today's money, a price tag far too high to pay. Other engineers were asked if it could be made more cheaply, and an engineer called Joseph Strauss replied and said he could do it for a fraction of the price. He kept his promise, with the final cost coming in at $35 million, or $550 million today. However, money was not the only challenge. It was nicknamed the bridge that couldn't be built, because of the powerful tides, strong winds, and thick fog. And if those things weren't enough to contend with, the architect and engineers had to take into account the San Andreas Fault running through the area a mere 11 kilometers away. Despite the colossal challenges, it was successfully completed in 1937, after four years of construction. The bridge has a maximum span of almost 1.3 kilometers between the two suspension towers, and was the longest suspension bridge in the world at 2.7 kilometers a record it would keep for 30 years. The two main cables, which pass over the 230 meter tall towers, are an engineering marvel in themselves. 2.3 kilometers in length, they are made of galvanized carbon steel wire. Each cable is almost a meter in diameter, and contains over 27,000 individual wires enough to go around the earth three and a quarter times. 110,000 vehicles use the six-lane bridge every day, equaling 2.2 billion crossings since it opened in 1937. The architect and engineers who achieved this monumental task of building the bridge were Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss, Engineer Leon Moisef, Structural Engineer and mathematician Charles Ellis, and architect Irvin Morrow. However, it was chief engineer Joseph Strauss who took most of the credit for the design by downplaying the contributions of the others. Strauss spent around 10 years getting the funding for the project and had built over 400 drawbridges in his career but he had little understanding or experience with cable suspension designs, and so relied heavily on his architect and the other engineers. It was Leon Moisef, engineer of the Manhattan Bridge in New York City, who came up with the final graceful suspension design. Irvin Morrow designed the shape of the bridge towers, the Art Deco elements, the street lights and railings, as well as suggesting the bridge be painted in international orange. Fortunately, his suggestion was chosen over the US Navy's suggestion of black and yellow stripes. Ellis did much of the technical and theoretical work that built the bridge, but received no credit in his lifetime. Finally, in 2007, the Golden Gate Bridge District made a formal report giving Ellis major credit for the design of the bridge, and a plaque now honors him. Something Strauss definitely deserves credit for, though, 
is his safety nets. By placing nets underneath the bridge during construction, he saved 19 lives. The workers who fell into these nets while working became known as members of the Halfway to Hell Club. Sadly, however, the netting could only take a certain weight, and when a scaffold with 12 men on it fell into the netting, it broke through and landed in the water, with only two of the men surviving. Today, netting is still being used, but this time it's steel wire netting, and it's not to save the lives of construction workers, but because the Golden Gate Bridge is the site of many suicides. Around 1,500 deaths have taken place here over the years, with 95% of people dying upon impact with the water. Thankfully, in 2018, this safety netting started to be attached, and after some delays, should be finished this year in 2023. The Golden Gate Bridge is truly an iconic structure and a beloved symbol of San Francisco. It's a must-see for any visitor to the city, and it's a bridge that will continue to amaze and inspire for many years to come. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.